down. Look at them fall. The legendary Hawk Moon is back. Now this is a exotic hand comb from Destiny 1 and it has returned into Destiny 2 joining the last word and thorn completing the holy trinity of hand cannons. Now the Hawk Moon is a 140 RPM hand cannon so now it is in the same archetype as Thorn which has changed from a 150 but Hawk Moon offers a slightly different exotic perk to it. So the exotic perk says Paracausal Shot. Final blows and precision hits with Hawk Moon grant stacks of paracausal charge. The final round in the magazine, so that's the last bullet of the 8 round magazine, deals bonus damage based on the number of stacks of paracausal charge. But stowing Hawk Moon, so that's switching weapons, when you only have one round left in the magazine, removes every stack of paracausal charge. So the idea with this weapon is to hit as many headshots and get as many final blows as you can with the seven bullets in the mag and once you've got enough charges stacked up the last bullet will do a ridiculous amount of damage to the stage where it can one shot supers to the face if you have seven stacks of paracausal charge stacked up so this can be a lot of fun Hawk Moon is also the first ever exotic to come with random rolls so as of yet we don't know how you can obtain the random rolls version of Hawk Moon but this version of Hawk Moon, which is what you get from completing the quest, is still a beast. Just based on its stats alone, Hawk Moon is probably the best hand cannon in the game, with its range, stability, handling, all far exceeding other hand cannons that are currently obtainable. And with it being an exotic, it also will not get sunset, so it's definitely worth going after it if you're a fan of hand cannons. Now the first step to get this hand cannon is you have to visit Spider on the Tangled Shore. I should also say that you can only obtain Hawk Moon if you have the Season 12 Season Pass. So you have to purchase the Season Pass to qualify to get this weapon. Now Spider will give you a mission to collect 5 feathers. The first one is just outside of his lair. So as you come out of his lair and turn left, you'll see it just on this box here. second one is in the sludge on the EDZ. Just jump up onto this platform that you see here and then just pick up the feather. The third feather is on the Cosmodrome. So this is the new section of the Earth. Just at the landing zone, as soon as you're landing, it's up on this um, like column right next to you. You just jump up there and pick it up. Now the fourth one is in the Dreaming City. So as soon as you spawn in in the Davillion Mist landing zone, you head up like you're going towards the Blind Well. As you get to this big gateway up just here, the feather is just to the left of it on a little platform. Now the fifth one is in the Shrine of Oryx. This is on the moon. So as soon as you spawn in, just follow the direction that I go here. Now once you've picked up the final feather, you return to the crow on the Tangled Shore and he will give you a special mission to do. 
that's located in the sludge in the EDZ. But you just spawn in the EDZ. You'll see it appear on the map. I won't give you any spoilers for these special missions, so I won't show you any gameplay because they are quite fun. You literally will start the mission, take you five, ten minutes to do. I've been having these strange dreams lately. After you've completed this mission, you will have to return to the crow again. This time he will tell you to collect orbs of light. I did this in this lost sector on the Tangled Shore, and I suggest using a masterworked weapon if you have one. Another really good option is to do the Mayhem playlist if it's available in the Crucible. If you are completing this the first week that it came out, then Mayhem is actually in the Crucible this first week. After completing that, you return back to the Crow for the third time and now do another special mission that's located in the Trustland. Once you've completed this mission in the Trustland, you'll get another quest where you must get champion or guardian kills. The easiest way by far is the champion kills. Though so killing champions in an empire hunt is very good and that's the way that I did it. Each champion counts as 3% done. And after just one run of a empire hunt, I had 24% completed. As you need 200 guardians to kill, the champions are by far the fastest method. But one thing to note is to make sure you actually damage each champion yourself. If your teammate kills them without you putting any damage on them, then unfortunately it won't count. After that, you head back to the crow. You're starting to see a pattern here. <laughs> Then he'll get you to do one final mission that's back in the sludge. The exact same place where the very first special mission was that you did. Again, I won't give any spoilers. It's a great mission. There's some jumping puzzles and a cool fight at the end. And once you've completed this, it'll actually drop at the end of the mission. So make sure you have space free in your kinetic weapon slot. Now my initial thoughts on Hawk Moon is that it's great. It feels so good on console and the sound effects are just incredible. I'll have a proper review and some builds with it down the line once we've started getting the random rolled versions of the weapon but for now it's a welcomed addition to the incredible lineup of hand cannons that we've now got. So I hope you enjoyed the video. A like is very much appreciated. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe to my channel. It will let you know whenever I upload a new video and also when I stream. I stream every Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. So hopefully you can drop by, say hello. It'll be good to have you guys there. But in the meantime, stay safe, stay positive, and I shall see you all very soon indeed. Bye bye.